Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. And in this video, we'll be creating a simple poster design using Shape Layers and Photoshop. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe my channel. It will help me a lot. So with that note, let's jump with the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to file, click on new. And as always, 1820. 1080, 1350, 300 resolution, RGB color mode, 16 bit, and just keep the rest as default. And let's click on create. Then let's uh, let's create a shape first. That's our main topic. So before that, let's create a solid. And now we will just go for some kind of darker color. And let's go over here, add a custom shape. And then this time, let's see. Yep, this time I'll just go for this one. Let's create a shape. Control T. Let's fill this. Yep, and let's keep it all the way down. Yep, something like that. And then I'll just uh, keep the color as it is for now. Maybe let's change the color. I'll just, let's go for some kind of brighter red. All right. Now let's uh, drag and drop this image over here. And let's change the blending mode to color burn. Control T, let's do some adjustment. And now let's add a hue and saturation. And let's drop down the saturation all the way to the down. And let's select on this layer max icon and let's fill it with black. And go to the brush. And I will just go for splatter brush and yeah, if you want to download the same brush, check on the description list below. And let's make sure the color is white and let's get back some of those part. Maybe let's keep it above this one. Yeah, just to add some kind of variations. And we can change it later anytime. Maybe let's do some rotation. Alright, just keep it like that for now, and but we can change it anytime later. Now let's uh, drag and drop the main image. So let's drag and drop this image over here. Alright, let's keep it in the center. Right click, convert as a smart object, control T. Let's make it a little bigger, maybe somewhere around here. Alright. Now let's create a layer max, go to the brush and using the same brush, let's get rid of some of this part and make sure the color is black. So something like that. Mm -hmm. Alright. And let's select the layer, go to the filter, go to the camera raw filter and let's do some adjustment. And let's go, let's increase the exposure a little bit. Drop down the highlights, increase the shadows, and increase the clarity. That's what I like to do, but it's up to you how much you want to crank it up. But I would like to go all the way up, like around 75, and let's increase the texture too. Yep, and let's go to the detail tab and let's increase a color noise reduction. Yep, let's increase the sharpening and let's increase the noise reduction too. Do something like that. Now let's go to the color mixture and from here let's drop down the saturation for orange yeah maybe somewhere over here and let's drop down the saturation for yellow too yeah maybe something like that and let's increase the saturation for red and let's drop down the luminance a little bit and from the hue let's make it some darker yep maybe something like that and then let's keep all as a default and let's click on ok so yep this is what we have control t let's bring it maybe somewhere over here now let's drag and drop the another image let's drag and drop over here yes and let's convert it as a smart object Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. I'll just keep it somewhere over here. 
Now let's select the layer, go to the filter, apply a camera raw filter. And let's do somewhat similar. So go over here, increase the exposure a little bit. Drop down the highlights, increase the shadows. Increase the clarity, increase the texture. Maybe clarity is too much for this one. And let's go to the detail tab. Increase the noise reduction, increase the sharpening, increase color noise reduction. Yep, maybe something like that. Sharp noise reduction is too much, maybe somewhere around here. And go to the color mixture. Again, same thing. I'll just drop down the orange and maybe drop down the yellow a little bit. And just increase the red. And go to the red uh, hue. Let's drop down the hue a little bit and then go to the luminance and drop down the luminance a little bit now let's click ok so this is what we have now let's create a color lookup so go over here apply a color lookup and let's see let's go for this one and now let's apply a color balance and from here let's increase the cyan yep something like that and let's drop down the magenta or maybe somewhere over here yep maybe somewhere around here looks good now let's go to the shadows and let's increase the blue maybe maybe something like that what about the sign yep let's keep it somewhere over here and now let's add another shape so go over here add another shape so for this time i will go for let's just go for this one so let's go over here make a shape something like that Control t let's rotate it yep maybe somewhere around here now let's increase a little bit Control t yep somewhere around here and let's keep it somewhere over here and let's change the color to maybe some kind of yellowish color maybe something like that somewhere around here all right and let's drop down the opacity for this one a little bit yep maybe somewhere around here and control t let's make a rotation all right now let's add some other shapes so go over here add a custom shape let's add the same shape let's apply it and let's change the fill to white now let's make a copy let's go over here alt and drag let's make a copy alt and drag all right now let's select all those make a group Control g and let's make a copy Control j and control T let's make it a little bigger and for this one I don't want feel and add a stroke Just keep it under this layer okay well let's change the color over let's make it a little lighter maybe give the same color not a pure white maybe something like that yep i think this is looking pretty good now let's make a copy Control j Control t let's keep this somewhere over here too maybe around here all right and let's make a copy again Control j Control t let's increase the size and let's keep it maybe somewhere over here yep and for this one i would like to give a little lighter color yep maybe something like that and let's keep all of them under the color lot and now let's add some other shapes so go over here add a eclipse and let's add a clip over here and let's change the fill to white all right and now let's make a copy alt and drag let's make another copy alt drag all right now let's select all these eclipse and let's make a group Control g 
Control T, let's keep it somewhere over here. And let's make a copy again, Control J. Maybe let's keep it somewhere over here. And let's make it a little smaller. And let's make a copy, Control J, Control T. Let's make it all the way big. And maybe let's drop down the opacity to around yeah, 7-8%. Okay, now let's add a text. Go over here, add a text. Control T, let's make it a little bigger. Yeah, maybe let's keep it somewhere over here. Let's drag and drop this texture over here. Click yes. And right click, create a clipping max. Control T, let's keep it somewhere over here. And let's select the layer, go to the image adjustment and apply a label. Let's make it a little darker and maybe crank up here yep, somewhere around here. All right, now go all the way to the bottom. Let's drop down the opacity a little bit. Yep, somewhere over here. Even for this one too, let's drop down the opacity a little bit. Yep, now let's add some text. So go over here and let's add some other text. Go over here, let's add some text. Let's select this text and let's select this text. Let's keep it a little bigger. And let's add another text. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's keep it somewhere over here. And let's create a one more layer. Go to brush, and this time I will just go for a regular brush. And let's make it a little smaller. And yep, let's add some strokes. So that's the wrap up, and I hope you guys learned something new from this video. And see you guys in the next video.